Okay, this is the third video for user levels, and this is for level three. This is the employee level. I'll show you how that works. First, we're going to log out, because before we were in as a staff member level. Now we're going to go ahead and log in as if we had, as if we were an employee. And we'll show you what that looks like. So I'm an employee. Now employees are going to be people like volunteers, and uh, or maybe kitchen help, or people who help some of the residents with a wide variety of things. Um, and this is what their screen looks like. If you'll notice, it looks actually more like a residence uh, login uh, homepage. They've got Mr. Help. They've got suggestion box, executive letter media. They've got all these fun things that they can play with down here. They've got their own personal calendar here and they have the ability to change their password and their own information. And here's really why this was built. We actually built this for a client of ours who would, when somebody was coming into their community, they had a little questionnaire on a Word document and that questionnaire asked them particular questions about what they liked, uh, their hobbies, what they expected to get out of living where they you know at the community and it was a way for the rest of the staff who worked at the community and volunteers to get to know some of the residents and just to make their life a little bit better strike a, strike up a conversation with them about something in particular and be able to kind of cater the needs of that particular resident um, just having that information was helpful so you can do that uh, with this document what what this is is for us, the regular staff member can come into the resident database, which is here, select it. And the difference is they can't add, edit, or delete residents. They can't do anything like that. But what they can do is access this, this particular document that either the administrator level or staff level person uploaded that has to do with that particular resident. So Eunice Aiken, this is what her, if I was to select import, important, doc, that would be the questionnaire for Eunice. It doesn't have to be a questionnaire. It could be whatever type of information that you want to apply to a particular resident and then have the employees be able to access it. Obviously, staff member can act, staff and administrator levels can access this information too. But that's basically what the employee level gets to do. Now, it's also kind of wise to make sure, I mean, if you have employees who go home at night maybe and they watch the movies or, you know, read and listen to books, to familiarize, to familiarize themselves with the system, which means if you've got even somebody who's, you know, maybe a maintenance worker who's walking by and then one of the residents has a question and that uh, maintenance person understands how the system works because they played on it at home, they can now help that uh, resident if they need help. So, again, the employee level basically has access to the documents that were uploaded and assigned to a particular resident. 